Hey everybody, happy Wednesday to you. Pastor Matt here with your daily RPM. Hey, don't forget to give us a like and a share. This week we're speaking about that everybody has opinions. And people a lot of times will start off a sentence by saying, I just think. And then they begin to share their opinion. And everybody has opinions. It's okay to have an opinion. But here's the thing. Romans 8, 6 tells us that to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. We need to form our opinions through the lens of the Word of God. I'm reminded of an illustration. You know, many of you have studied about the bubonic plague that wiped out a major percentage of the Earth's population many years ago. Well, do you know what? If people would have been following biblical admonitions from the Old Testament, that were written thousands of years before the bubonic plague, there would be no bubonic plague because the Lord in the books of Leviticus and the books of Numbers talks to the Israelites about cleanliness, taking their trash outside the camp, how to dispose of going to the bathroom and sewage, how to deal with all that. And when human nature neglected those very simple commands, the filth of this world spread, and we had a plague that killed hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people. When we frame our opinions, it is so important that we use the Word of God as the lens in which we interpret and filter all the wisdom of this world. Because let God's Word be true, and every man a liar. In other words, if there is an opinion or a wisdom of this world that contradicts what Scripture says, then we always stick with what Scripture says. And the same is true in the church. There are a lot of Christian people, churchy people, religious people, who have a lot of opinions about God, but they're not based in Scripture. They're based from emotions and feelings that have not been filtered through the lens cap of the Word of God. And so that's my challenge to you today is everything, all wisdom in our life filters through the Word of God. I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, like and share and follow my dad on Pastor Matt Ministries.